Well, good morning, everyone. How are you today on this lovely Wednesday of August 2nd, 2023? Are you doing all right? Because <laughs> if so, thank you, Lord Jesus. Because it's hard to be doing all right these days. I mean, the world is just straight up getting more and more lawless every day. And this stuff is real, okay? So if you manage to be doing all right, then thank you, Lord Jesus, and glory, hallelujah. Because it's hard to be doing all right these days. But just in case you're not doing all right and everything is not okay, please feel free to take it where to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of course in prayer and wait patiently for him to work things out on your behalf and you will see that he is for you he's for you and not against you welcome back to the channel here at D space for space you where the name is apt to change because I really don't like it and hey you know what <laughs> something about that little slogan I like it that's why I can't see me change it because it's so cute. I got to come up with something different. Anyway. Thank you for tuning back in. Where the name is apt to change. Because <laughs> I really don't like it. But I'm going to change it someday. I just don't know when. But for now, let's get into this one, shall we? Okay, you see that attitude I just had? I'm going to tell you why I just had it like that. You know, the Bible says, what doth it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Okay? And um, where is it at exactly in the Bible? Well, I'll tell you this. If you're really interested, and I hope you are, please pick up your King James Version Holy Bible read it from front to back and eventually you'll see it in there and the Holy Bible will correct me and everybody out here that's possibly preaching the gospel and making mistakes the Holy Bible will correct all of us for you so that you can learn it for yourself and share it with others boom anywho I'm taking my soul back because, let me tell you something. I'm learning more and more each day since I've been married. And I've been married to my husband for a year and almost three months now. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, because I, I never thought that I would ever get married. I thought I was going to die in old May. But the Lord, he had a plan. <laughs> and didn't, didn't he work it? Anywho. So, I say I'm taking my soul back because, you know, one would think that, you know, if you gain the whole world and to, you know, what is it again? It, uh, what, what doth it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You would think that that's just for rich people. You would think that that's just for uh, middle class people. You wouldn't think that that's for poor people. But let me tell you something. Poor people fit in that bracket. And uh, I don't mean people that's out here doing things illegally and making money. I ain't talking about them. That's bad. But no, I'm not talking about them. I am not talking about them at all. I'm talking about before I got married, I had two children outside of wedlock. I qualified for low-income housing, Section 8. I qualified for food stamps for many years. And I qualified for government health insurance. Okay? And it's insane. Because, because I lived my life in sin, I was good for all the above as long as I would stay you know what unmarried and have sex outside of wedlock 
making more babies. As long as I would get a job and then make sure I don't make more than what I'm supposed to in order for me to qualify for Section 8 or low-income housing, you know, or income-based housing, you know, or or food stamps, or maybe even, uh, you know, the, 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 the cash benefits that you get through the government. Let's say the welfare. Let me just break it down and just say the welfare. You know, as long as I was living in sin, I qualified for all of that. But the moment I got married and I told Section 8 and I told uh, Job and Family Services and I didn't tell them right away because I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. I'm being honest. I ain't tell them right away. But I just turned in my information to Job and Family Services about me being married. I have been trying to tell the insurance, but the, you know, through, through them. But the insurance kept saying you have to go in and talk to somebody. At the time, because of the COVID-19 stuff, for a long time they weren't open. So then if you, you, you have to call and be on the phone for hours waiting to talk to somebody. Or if you have some stuff you needed to drop off, you just take it, drop it off in a drop box. And you hope that they get it and you hope that they reach out to you and discuss whatever with you about it okay um so that kind of plays a part in why it was a delay in me letting them know that I was married but for the most part it was because I knew that if you try to live when you live in right and you're doing things according to God's plan and according to God's will I'm going to say God's will because his plan can be many different things. And sometimes, you know what, all the time, God's ways are not all our ways. So he can do things differently. He can He can do things way differently. So I'm not going to talk about his plan, but I'm saying according to God's will. And even his will is different. But he gave us his word for a reason. He wanted us to obey his will he wanted us to obey his word he gave us a heads up on how to live according to the way that pleases him i'm just saying though but the moment you try to do things the right way then you kind of like set your own self up for failure. It's almost like the enemy is saying, well, then, okay, so then, oh, so you don't want to have sex out of marriage? So you just, you, okay, so you want to have children, you want to have children by your husband, right? So you want to have children by your husband. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. Oh, 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 oh. So you don't want food stamps? 